Hello friends and welcome to this video. So a few weeks ago I was exploring my local Goodwill and I found this ceramic dip platter which of course became a new watercolor palette to play with. To test it out I decided to make several series of paintings all using the same six colors of blues, greens, and yellows and I added these prints to my Etsy shop as print at home art prints and I'm pretty happy with how they all turned out. I will link to my shop in the video description if you'd like to take a closer look. I thought that in this video I will share with you some tips and tricks on how I painted this sea turtle, so let's get started. The colors that I used for all of these paintings are Lemon Yellow, Phthalo Green Blue Shade, Payne's Gray, Phthalo Green Light, Antwerp Blue, and Paraline Green. For this turtle, I only used those first three. I will list all of these paint colors and the other supplies I used in the video description. So I drew this turtle directly onto the paper, and I'm painting it all as separate shapes that won't touch. This makes it really easy because you are just painting one small area at a time. I'm starting with the phthalo green blue shade on his shell, then while it's wet I add a little Payne's gray and let that blend together. Then I drop in a little bit of that lemon yellow to disperse the paint and add some more color and texture. I'm going to speed this up a little bit and then I start painting two sections at a time using the same colors as the first one, letting them blend wet into wet and carefully keeping those sections separated. I'm picking up some of that extra water and pigment with my thirsty brush. These next shell sections, I'm wetting the paper first. It changes up the final result just a little bit, and it also lets me paint them in clusters while keeping the blended colors soft without any hard edges. And by painting several at a time, I can paint it a little bit more quickly than if I were just doing one at a time wet paint on dry paper. The outer edges of the shell are these smaller sections, and I'm painting them on dry paper, filling the entire shape in with phthalo green. While the sections are still wet, I add a little bit of Payne's gray and lemon yellow. I had painted the head and the front flippers the same way, I just used more lemon and less Payne's gray to make the sections lighter than the shell. And I'm doing the same process with the back flippers. Because these little areas are so small, I'm just using the tip of my brush on dry paper to fill them in with the color mixes.
Once it was all dry, I erased any visible pencil lines and then it was done. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more watercolor tips and tutorials from me, please like and subscribe and click the notification bell. Select this next video to learn even more painting techniques to help you improve your art. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.